It's cold outside. I'm a flannel on. I'm in pajamas, fuzzy slippers. It's December. Welcome to Festivity Series, Day 10. December is a month as seen by almost all around the world from different races, nationalities, locations, as a time to celebrate. With family, with traditions, whatever's relative. So today we're going to talk about five different holidays from five different nations around the world that are celebrated besides Christmas during December. Starting with Bob. Hanukkah is a traditional celebration of the Judaism religion that is celebrated between December 10th and December 18th. This eight-day holiday is usually considered as a Jewish Christmas, but its historical significance holds no major comparison to Christmas. The intention of Hanukkah is to commemorate the dedication of the Second Temple in Jerusalem. On top of this, the historical significance of Hanukkah originates from 164 BC, when the Jewish defeated the Greeks in war and they lighted a candle that lasted for eight days, despite there only being oil for a single day. This is represented by the traditional menorah lighted during Hanukkah and its eight candlesticks are a representation of this religious event. Traditions and practices of the holiday have changed somewhat over the years since its conception, but the values and truths of the holiday still remain the same. La Fiesta of Our Lady of Guadalupe might be celebrated by Mexican-Americans and other Latinos. The version of Our Lady of Guadalupe is often seen as a source, as a source of faith, identity, and patriotism. And, and is often um, quoted by activists, feminists, artists, and other forms of outspoken people of that culture. The holiday itself takes place on December 12th, and on each of the days leading up to it, there will be millions of people flooding this boulevard called the Kalazka of, our, of Guadalupe, which leads up to the Basilica of Guadalupe, which is the shrine in which the picture of the Virgin of Guadalupe is placed above the altar. They might bring offerings of food or just take pictures with or just take pictures with family. And on the twelfth day is La Fiesta. It's the feast. Probably my favorite part. Omisoka is a traditional Japanese celebration that is observed in Japan and in Japanese cultures. Widely known as a Japanese New Year holiday, Omisoka is a time where Japanese families prepare for the new year. People clean their homes, organize, and prepare a family meal for the night of December 31st. Similar to the traditional New Year celebration in the United States, people engage in New Year traditions and resolutions, all in hope of being their better self in the coming year. As midnight approaches, bells in the temples across Japan toll 108 times, which takes almost an hour to finish due to the fact that each toll is struck and is waited until their tone is finished. This New Year celebration is also the one time of the year that children are not scolded for staying up late. Kwanzaa is originated in 1965 during the when the riots in LA got pretty pretty nasty, and um, it's the source of like, it, it, you know, it's actually really funny when I when I was researching it, the values of Kwanzaa were actually values that might have been taken from this african-american culture and that that are now represented by each of these uh by the, these seven values kwanzaa likes to use the number seven a lot it's a seven day holiday uh december 26th to january 1st on each of these days represents a different value may it be unity or um responsibility hard workingness uh family faith and, and other really important values which might have been taken from that group of people and that were represented through the riots in LA. And on each of these days, um, they they bring offerings that to, to this homemade shrine. May it be food on the first day to represent the, the unity value, a mat on the second day to represent responsibility, corn stalks on the third day to represent, uh, one for each of their children to represent family. I'm pretty sure, I might, I might be mistaken there, but um, yeah, and, and and on the seventh day is is the is the feast. From what I found, a, a, a lot a lot of um, holidays in December like feasts, which I cannot complain about. <laughs> so the most representative quin uh, symbol of Kwanzaa is the is the candelabra. It has seven candles, 
three green on the left side, three red on the right side, one black candle in the middle, and they might be mistaken with the Hanukkah candles. Each of them represent a different value of the Kwanzaa. And, and, the, and the candelabra itself is brought on the fourth day of the, of the seven-day holiday. So, so, so you might see Boxing Day celebrated in the United Kingdom, Australia, Britain, those sorts of places. Boxing Day is the day at the, after Christmas. It's, it's just where you eat a bunch of food. You either, you either eat all the food that was left over from Christmas, or you just or, or you just eat all the food that you would have eaten at Christmas. And the way I see it, it's just really it's just really a, a, a nice time to spend with family. Like there, there, there's no like re- religious ties to anything. There's no um, the origin is what Bob's going to talk about. But um, it's really a lot of it, it's a it's a lot about family. It's a lot about coming together and celebrating outside of anything. It's just this tradition where food from, I think no one can disagree that food brings people together more than anything else. So that's what this day is really about. Just coming together and feasting with with nothing else to it. Thanks, James. The origin of Boxing Day is usually associated with the fact that wealthy people would give their servants and helpers the day off on December 26th which is a day after Christmas. The name of Boxing Day was also tied to the wealthy and the fact that they would often box gifts for their servants as a token of their appreciation. As a result, the poor and their servants would get their day off on Boxing Day. This holiday of Boxing Day is usually celebrated in the United Kingdom, mostly in Britain, and is also observed throughout the Commonwealth nations. Thank you.